everyone, Carolyn here. Today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video. I feel like I say that a lot these days, but like I promise this one is actually very exciting. We're going to be starting a new, kind of new collection here on the Wanted channel. Um, I am going to start my OT girl group collection today. We have a lot to talk about, so let's just go ahead and get started. So basically, um, for the past couple of months, I, you know, I've been collecting OT7, OT6, OT5, whatever you want to say, Mostex, for about two years now. Um, it'll be two years in May since I picked up um, OT7 Mostex for Fantasia era. Um, and I really, really have enjoyed collecting OT7 Monstex. I love my OT whatever Monstex collection. <laughs> however, many, however many active members are gonna come back, I absolutely adore my collection. I love collecting full group for Monstex like so, so much. Like it's literally my favorite thing in the world. Can't even be bad when we have like a billion pobs and everything because I just love it so much. Um, and then I recently, like last year, started collecting OT8 Stray Kids which I've also been having a such a fun time with. I love collecting OT8 Stray Kids so much. It's literally, like I said, one of my favorite things in the world. I don't, I mean, I don't love anything as much as my Monstax collection. <laughs> like for photo card wise, like it's literally my like prized possession. Um, and then in the past for Butter Era for BTS, I also collected OT7 for them. And I do plan on like, depending on whatever BTS's comeback looks like, I do plan on possibly doing that again because I've just really been enjoying collecting full group, which I know is like really expensive. And I know that it's way more expensive than just like getting your two bias, like your biases, two photo cards, and then moving on with your life. Um, however, I don't know. I just really enjoy it a lot more than just collecting one member recently. Anyways, so a couple months ago, I was sitting at this very desk because this is the only table in my apartment. <laughs> Anyways, I was sitting here and I was like, like I was, I watched starting photo card videos literally all the time. Like if you make them on YouTube, I've probably watched yours at some point because I just watch them all. Um, every time they get recommended to me, I watch them. I don't like the ones where people don't talk in them. Like I like the chatty ones. Um, so I do tend to watch those. So maybe if you don't talk in yours, I've never watched yours because personal preference. Um, Anyways, a lot of people collect full group for a girl group at some point in their collection life. And I was just like looking at a couple of channels and I was like, it would be really nice to collect full group for a girl group. And I didn't have a girl group in mind when I had this initial thought, but it kind of stuck in my brain for a while. And I was like, you know, I shouldn't say anything on the internet because whenever I say things on the internet, um, I don't know, like I think I don't have the largest following in the world, but I have a decent sized following. And so um, announcing new collections and things does always like stress me out a little bit because I feel very committed to things once I announce things. And also like, also because I'm very stubborn. And so if I say I'm gonna do something, like I'm gonna do it. So I don't like to announce things until I'm pretty sure that it, like it's gonna happen at some point. And so I ended up saying it on the Twitter timeline where I say things. Um, and then I think I said it in a sorting photo card video at one point. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna do it at some point. I don't know who I'm gonna do it for. I haven't decided really yet. And then I was watching somebody's sorting photo card video and I discovered this binder. So this is a Beyond D A5 wide binder, it has six pockets. And I was like, there are so many six member girl groups out there. Like it would be so fun and so satisfying to, <laughs> to do that. So then I made the decision on who I wanted to collect, which you can probably guess now that I've shown you the number of sleeves in a pocket. But I was like, I, I don't know. I want to give this a go. I collect a lot of girl groups that have been around for a long time and have a lot of photo cards. So like a pink and red velvet and twice and the thought of collecting their old stuff stresses me out because um, it's just so much. And also like twice would be very satisfying. They have a very satisfying collection because they have nine members, but it just seemed really daunting to collect nine members. And like, I know people do it and I know that like it can be done and it's fairly easy to be done, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling like I really wanted to do that. Um, 
And then I thought about like smaller groups that I collect like Espa and Ive that are younger um, and Itzy and um, and then I was thinking and I found this binder and I was like, you know what? Like what if I collected OT6 Ive? What if I did that? <laughs> so I've been thinking about that for about a month and I think it was like two weeks ago that I finally was like, you know what? I want to do it because I've only have two releases out. So it's not a super huge commitment. And if I don't love it, then it's not like I have a ton of cards. Like I'm not missing a ton of cards. Um, this was also like right after I had announced their comeback and I was like, sure, like I will go ahead. Let's go ahead and give it a try for this era um, and just see how it goes. And then Monster Dex announced a comeback. Which y'all know, like whenever the monsters or Wano do anything, like I just completely shut down as a person. Like I'm just like, I can't collect anything else except Monster X. And so the past week or so, I've been stressing about it because I'd already bought the binder. Um, I bought this from a shop called Mochi Things and it was literally an amazing store. It's located in Seattle, um, but obviously they have a website. I don't live in Seattle. Um, and I was just kind of Googling like who had these in stock and I found, I wanted a US based store and I found one. Um, so definitely would recommend them. I also got um, these pages from them as well. You had to buy them separately, but that's kind of how it works with A5 stuff as far as I've seen so far. I've been talking for seven minutes and we've done literally nothing. So yeah, so Monster X announced to come back and I stressed about it and I was like, but I'm missing all the like previous eras cards for Ive and now they have a new era and then Starship announced jewel cases for them. And I just like got really stressed and I was like, maybe I don't want to do this. Um, so then I thought about it for a little bit and I was like, you know what, Carolyn, like whenever anybody asks you, like, what's your biggest advice for starting a new collection? You a hundred percent of the time say, start at the current era and work backwards. So like, why am I worried about debut era? Like, why don't I just focus on the current era and work backwards? like I tell everyone else to do. So yeah, and then also like, you don't have to finish a collection in five minutes. Like I don't need to buy six copies of all three versions of Ives upcoming album, like right now, like I don't need to do it. And so, so it was kind of stressing me out because my original plan was to buy like a bunch of copies on Starship Square. Um, but now with the monsters come back, I just like, the point is that I am going to collect OT6 Ive for this era. So what I've purchased so far is I purchased a full set of the album. So there's three versions of this album um, and we can like go over things in a little bit. Um, I want to kind of like take things out of this binder and set up this binder first and then we can talk about contents and stuff. Yeah, so there's three versions. So I bought a set and then I also bought a set of jewel cases. Um, and that's what I have coming so far. And after I bought that, I bought it literally like two days ago. Um, I realized that the jewel cases come out on a different day. <laughs> so the comeback is this upcoming Wednesday. I'm not sure when you're going to see this, if you're going to see it on Sunday or Monday because life, but, um, I probably won't get the albums till next week, which is kind of upsetting, but honestly, if the release date's on Wednesday, I probably wouldn't have gotten them till next week anyway. So whatever. But anyways, let's get started with this. So... The first thing we need to do is we need to take, because I already have a complete cow collection. Um, so I'm gonna take her out of this binder and I'll I'll remove that later. But yeah, I still have Espa in here as well. And I didn't just decide to collect Ive just because like they're a six member girl group that I like enjoy. Um, they're actually like, they've actually kind of become my favorite girl group that's debuted in like a long time. Um, <laughs> which if you know anything about me, you know that I'm like not the biggest fan of Starship Entertainment. For someone who sends them so much money, like you would think that I'd like them more, but like I literally don't. Um, but I think we can all relate to that um, <laughs> as far as companies go in K-pop. So, but I always said like Monster X was my last Starship group and then I've debuted and um, I was a big fan of Eyes One as well. So I like Yujin and I like Hwan Young. I watched that entire season of Produce. Um, and then I really liked Eleven. It was probably one of my favorite girl group releases of last year. Um, and I don't know. So, so it made sense. It's not, it's a group that I know that I like really like, and I'm so excited for this comeback too. Like, I'm like literally so excited. It looks amazing. But yeah. So as you can see, I have previously collected, um, Kyle's cards. So she is my bias in the group. And here's kind of what I'm thinking about. Currently, I don't have a bunch of different pages 
for the wide A5, I would like to get, I need to look up the dimensions of the two A5s because I would like to keep this and I would like to keep some other stuff in there. So I'm gonna have to go back to Mochi Things website and look and see if they have like four pocket pages and two pocket pages and then maybe buy some of those. I want my main focus for this collection to be on nine pocket sized photo cards. Um, but there are some larger inclusions that I would like to collect, but yeah, anyways, let me take, let me take these out of here. So obviously I have her full collection, um, and I have a couple pobs for her. I don't plan on collecting pobs for the full group because that I've just had too many pobs last era and I know Starship and I know it's going to be the same this era. Um, so I'm just going to focus on Kyle for these, um, for pobs and stuff. And I don't want a ton of pobs for her, um, but you know, I do want a couple. I joined my friends MMT Go, um, which is what I did last era. So for last era, I have both Starship Square pobs. And then I also have, this is MMT round one. I'm not sure if they did multiple rounds. I think they did, um, but yeah, so that's what that is. And then these are the three album cards. In the future, I might decide to like, do um, one full group pop set or something. But for right now, that's just not a priority of mine. Let me show you this before I rip this off. <laughs> so this is a little information on the binder. If you're interested in sizing and all of that, I thought about getting one of these two for like the couple of OT6 eras for Monsta X, literally like Love Killa and um, Fantasia. And well, actually, Gambler too was OT6. I keep forgetting because Shona was on hiatus. But um, I was like, should I get one of these for for those eras? But I honestly don't think this would fit. I think I would need multiple. So because I was like, oh, those were like six member eras, <laughs> so I could do that. Literally, I have to make everything about Monster X. It's literally so stupid. Like, why am I like this? Why am I like this? I want to take this string out. Is it easy to do just like right now? Can I just do it right now? So I took the string out just because I've heard from some of you guys when I set up my other A5 binders that that it's not like super ideal to have the string there because it can bend your cards. And so that's why I took that off. But let's go ahead and put these in here. The one thing that I don't love about this binder in particular is that the sleeves are like so much smaller than the binder. I feel like in the, the normal A5, it like makes more sense, but it's fine. We're just, we're just chilling. Um, I got two packs of these. I believe they have 10 sleeves in each pack, which should, you know, keep me set for a little bit. But also like knowing that there's a US store. I think I was looking at other size sleeves because I was like, I really want to get some other size sleeves for this collection. Um, oh my gosh. But they were like out of, they must have been out of stock. Cause I definitely looked at like their other sizes. I know they had multiple kinds of sleeves for this collection. So I'm just gonna put this whole stack in here because I'm not using it for anything else. So that will keep us set for a while. Also, I believe, oh, they're not double-sided. For some reason, oh, they are double-sided. These are double-sided sleeves, which means that like they have a pocket on this side and then also a pocket on this side and like they wouldn't touch, but I like to see the backs of my cards. So we're not going to be doing that. So yes, I have a bunch of sleeves that I made. Let me show you. Um, I was going to show you what I use because people always ask me for my white filler cards for this binder. Um, I use the Dragon Shield white matte Japanese size. Um, that's super important. Everything you use for an A5 binder needs to be Japanese size. So here's some info on it. If you can't find this exact brand, um, this is the the information. So they're 86 by 59, which fits most K-pop photo cards, except for Monstix, because <laughs> they gotta be special or whatever. Um, and then for my actual like sleeves, I still sleeve the cards that I put in my A5 binders personal preference. You don't need to do it, but I like to do it. I use Titan Shield um, card protector sleeves. So I, I freaking love these. <laughs> I freaking love these. I've been really liking them recently because 
they are matte on the back. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so they're matte on the back and then they're glossy on the front and I love them. They're pu they're beautiful. So that's what I use. I'll leave links to both those down below as well as this binder and the sleeves if you're interested. But yeah, let's start putting things away. So I, have for their first era, I'll just go ahead and throw up a picture because I don't actually have a template with me. They had three sets of cards technically. Um, they had the red back set of cards, which I've always considered as version A, but I don't think there is actually like a version A or a version B. And then there's a black back photo card. And then there was a first press ID photo card, which I thought about like, do I want to collect it or not? Um, the only reason, like I don't love ID cards, but the only reason I collected gals was because I got two first press albums and I had cards to trade. I had two Eugens, I should have kept one. <laughs> I'm really upset that I like sold off my extra eye cards and then made this decision, but it's fine. Um, I aren't actually super expensive. Like 11 photo cards are really not that expensive to find. Even Wan Young, which was like kind of one of the deciding factors. I was like, if Wan Young is like way too expensive for debut era for normal album cards, like this isn't happening, <laughs> but she's really not that like, I'm that, bad it's probably because they had so many pobs and there weren't a lot of things to collect from this album um typical starship fashion <laughs> but anyway so those are the three sets of cards so obviously i have them all for cal but yeah we're gonna we're gonna click them all so Eugen is the leader i believe she's actually younger than gal but everything i see she's ranked she's like marked as the first member so that's just how i'm going to store her as well um and also it makes sense to put the leader first and it doesn't really it doesn't bother me maybe it'll bother you i'm sorry if it bothers you i really like using white sleeves as fillers just because they fit perfectly every single time and i really like that <laughs> um i know a lot of people will like make their own fillers and they'll make them like fancy with cardstock and stuff and I tried that for a little bit um, and it, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. It was just a lot of extra work and I also used to white sleeve all of my photo cards um, way back in the day, throwback if you were here for that. Um, but I used to white sleeve my cards and then I decided to clear sleeve them. So I had a bunch of white sleeves left over so it wasn't like I had to spend a bunch of money to buy these fillers. Like when I got the A5 I had to buy a couple packs of A5 size but that wasn't really the end of the world. Yeah, so it, people are always like, why do you use white sleeves? And it's like, cause I already had them <laughs> and they fit really nicely and I don't like to be able to see through to the next page. Um, so there we go. So these are the red cards. I don't have a single one of these cards on the way, <laughs> um, but I will put up a template on my trade sale Instagram. So if you want to trade me for like any of these cards, um, for anything I have up for trade or sale, unless it, like it's marked otherwise, but I think most of the stuff I have up for trade and sale right now is like up for anything pretty much. So yeah. And then we're going to do the black set the same way. I'm like so excited about this collection though, you guys. <laughs> like I I'm really happy and I really love Ive so much. And so yeah, I'm just, I also feel like there aren't a lot of OT6 Ive collectors here on YouTube, which I feel like is really weird because Ive are so popular um, and it'd be really fun to watch someone collect them, I think, as well. But yeah, I loved Eleven. I'm really sad that they have another single album. Like, I really wanted more music from them. And that was another like thing too, is that when um, oops, that's the wrong card. This is her ID card. Um, but yeah, when Starship, like, debuted them, I was so mad about them. <laughs> well, like, coming up to their debut, I was like, it's exciting. But, like, like I said, Wan Young and Yujin were never, like, my biases in, um, in Eyes One. And so I was like, oh, that's so exciting. They're getting to debut. But, like, I'm sure I'll, like, like them casually. Um, but they've actually been like one of my favorite girl group debuts in a long time. And I really felt as far as girl groups go, so meh about girl groups the past couple of years, like girl group debuts. Like I love Red Velvet. I love Twice. I love Itzy. And like, I loved Eyes One. Like I loved Eyes One so much <laughs> to the point that like, I'm already considering standing the new Hive girl group because it has Chewan in it. And Chewan was my second bias after Envy. 
Um, I'm also buying Unbeez Comeback, so don't you worry about that. K-pop Market of One didn't have Unbeez album, which is really stressing me out because that's where I was gonna buy it. So I have to find a place to buy it before her comeback this week. Um, that's the black set. They're like easy enough to get that I'm not super worried about them. I also feel like I could probably trade for them um, pretty easily. And they were first press items, so it was one of those things too that I was just looking it up and I was like, if they're hard to get because they were first press items, like we're not gonna worry about it. Like I'm not gonna pay an insane amount of money for an ID card. <laughs> <laughs> for for a card that's not even like my favorite kind of card, you know, but Since they were all pretty reasonable. I think everyone kind of feels the same way that like they're not Their favorite cards um, Not the priority obviously, but I will do it because I already have calls too and it's just like I don't know, something really drew me to IVE where I was like, I really want more music from them, which is kind of the same reaction I had when Mods Next debuted, was they like released a mini. And I was like, this is a really short mini album. Like, <laughs> I need more. <laughs> I need more immediately. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the setup for this. I'm really excited to see this fill up. I think it's gonna look really satisfying when it is all done. And I freaking love the photo cards from this album too. Like, they're so cute. Group, girl groups always have the cutest cards like it's true they they are superior when it comes to photo cards so let me put this aside just for a moment and then we're going to talk about um the new album real quick this is love dive which if you haven't seen the teaser photos for love dive i'm like kind of obsessed <laughs> i think this is going to be such a fun fun era and yeah, I'm just more excited for more like more music from them. So there's three versions this time, which like there's two songs again. So like Starship is going to jail basically. Um, but I've said that before. <laughs> um, anyways, we have three photo cards per member. Um, so each member has one photo card. You pull one in an album, pretty straightforward stuff. There's also the heart hologram cards, which I don't think are going to fit in the pockets that I just showed you, which is why I kind of want to get like some four pockets or something, because I kind of want to collect these. <laughs> um, and then we have random stickers, which like Starship. I'm going to set up for month stacks eventually, I promise, and I will be much more upset about the random stickers there. Um, but at least these all look like kind of cohesive. I'm gonna see what these look like before I make a decision on that. And then there's three posters, which I did not buy a poster. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I would like to collect the heart hologram cards because I feel like they're gonna be from that like second concept. And I really love that concept. So I kind of want to collect those. If they're from the third concept, I'm definitely gonna want them. Um, and then for the jewel case version, it's pretty similar to like what Monstax did for jewel cases. So. You get one of six photo cards. Um, there's a two cut photo, which again is not going to fit in the pockets that I just showed you, I'm pretty sure. Um, if any of these things do fit in six pockets, like I'm obviously going to do that. And then we have the mini folded posters, which is, are similar to what Ki Hyun did for his solo and then what Monstax did for Rush Hour. So I really like those as well. They're not gonna fit in the A5 binder, like no matter what I do, so. I'm not sure what I wanna do about those. I guess I'll just kinda of see what my pulls are like. And if I pull enough of all of the members, maybe I'll try to get the ones I'm missing. We won't worry about it. Um, and if I do, I'll just keep it in my girl group binder um, instead of like the A5 binder. But I'm gonna to try to keep my priority nine pocket photo cards. So we're gonna to try to get the jewel case photo cards and the photo cards from um, like the normal photo cards. So, I really hope these jewel cases are cute. Starship does a good job with jewel cases, in my opinion. So, I'm excited for these. I think they're gonna be really cute. I'm just really mad also they come out two days later. <laughs> like, Starship truly going to jail. <laughs> and I forgot about it when I was pre-ordering the album and I was like, no, Starship, I can't believe this. Anyways, let's set up for this. So, I'm just gonna set up right behind the previous era. I do have some pops still to put away, but we're gonna do that. 
at the end. So yeah, I already made full sets for this as well. So version one, I'm just calling them version one, two, and three because that's what Starship called them. Um, everyone was like, this is so many cards. And I'm like, I agree. It's a lot of cards for a single album, but I'm just like very used to collecting this amount of photo cards. So it actually doesn't stress me out that much. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, there's not four versions. There's only three. What a nice change. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody else on the timeline is like, Starship's going to jail. And I was like, true. However, <laughs> I'm not actually that stressed about this because three cards per number, I'm like, eh, I've done worse. But yeah, Starship is super stingy with photo cards, I feel like. Um, as long, like, unless there are unit cards, which just makes me sad. They love like the extra weirdly sized items and that makes me upset <laughs> because I hate those and I would just rather not. All right. Perfect. And then we have the last album version. This is the source card though. These are backwards. Did I put this backwards? No, that's right. I didn't realize Liz was part of the Magnet line until I was looking up like more things about their like ages and stuff the other day. Like who the oldest members were. I knew that Wan Young was part of Magnet line because I always assume one young is part of Mangyang um, because I stand eyes one. So it was like, I just assumed. I thought she was gonna be the Mangne of um, Ive when they first like were announced. I was like, oh yeah, one young is definitely the youngest member. And they had to throw Liso in there. But, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So probably won't be making too, too much progress on this. I'm really sad that like my albums won't be here by next weekend for my sorting photo card video. Cause I'd like to get started on at least like this current era. And then we have the jewel case photo card. So this actually will be like one of the fastest growing parts of this binder just because I bought all six jewel cases. Um, I wasn't sure at first, like if I wanted to buy all six, but then, then I just did. <laughs> I don't know why I did. It was a, a weak moment, but I was like, you know what? Then I'll have six cards and I'm sure these are going to be super pretty and it would be really nice to unbox all six on the channel. Um, especially if I'm only buying one photo book version. I don't know. There wasn't really a lot of places I found that you could choose your member to um, from like the stores I normally pre-order from. So I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm sure there was a place I could have chosen my member because don't, I don't think they're random. <laughs> but yeah, so that's gonna be the setup for the new comeback. So excited to see these photo cards. Like, especially, I think my favorite version is gonna be version three, but I'm really excited for all the versions of this. So yeah, also jewel case cards, jewel case cards, incredible. So on this last page, I'm just gonna put the three pogs that I have right now. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for this era. I do have um, Kahalo claimed for MMT. Yeah, so I have her claimed for MMT because my friend is trying for a fan sign. Um, but I, and I'll probably get the Starship Square pogs. They were, they're so easy to find. Like they're the easiest pogs to find, <laughs> but I don't know if I'll do anything else for Pops era, it really just depends on like what they release and all that. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I did the Starship Square cards on either side because they're like the same color, same concept. Um, and I thought that the backs would look a little, little better like that. So yeah, that's the entire Ive binder. This is so fun. <laughs> I'm like super excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Um, obviously we post a lot of boy group content on the channel, but I adore girl groups. I think that they're so, so cute. And I don't know, I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to keep this back in the A5 binder that I took it out of just for the time being. 
Um, and then I also need to make a cover for this at some point. So I'm gonna need to work on that. Yeah, I'm super excited. Hope you guys are too. I definitely look forward to my unboxing because I'm gonna have all the photo book versions and also all the jewel case versions. And I'm just so excited for this era and for this concept and to collect Ive fully. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know um, if you know anybody else who collects OT6 Ive who has a YouTube channel, do let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to go like watch more like Ive collector content. Um, I know a lot of people who collect like one member, but I don't know a lot of people who collect full group, but they're also super new. So I feel like people are just now like trying to decide if they want to stand, if they want to collect, um, especially because debut era was pretty easy to collect. But yeah, again, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this is kind of short for me, but hope you still enjoyed. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.